What's up YouTube, this is DWS Darius, and today we are in a fish room, but not for long. So most of my videos are based upon my tropical fish, but I also keep cold water fish as well. For those of you who follow my channel, you will know that I also have a backyard pond, and in that pond I keep goldfish, koi, and some native fish that I collected from nearby lakes. These fish are definitely some of the hardiest fish that I can think of because they just handle the cold. Um, currently we have a cold front press across the country, and now it's hitting New Jersey. Last night's temperatures were below zero. And um, these fish just handle the cold weathers, winter after winter. They handle the hot weathers because I'm in New Jersey. And um, we get some pretty hot summers as well. And I just love the fact that these fish are just so hardy, so tolerant. And um, they're just awesome. So I really don't give them as much credit because it is harder for me to film these fish because they're in a pond compared to my tropical fish that are all in glass aquariums. But in this video, I want to give you guys just a look at some of these fish and I'm um, just show you what they're going through at this time. Okay, everyone. So right now we are in the backyard looking at the backyard pond and this is how the pond looks in the winter. So this pond goes through different transformations during each season. And right now in the winter, everything is dead because the temperature is freezing. Today is 25 degrees. Um, you can tell it's cold because if you look around a waterfall, the ice that's gathered on the net. So it's a cold day today. And um, that's just amazing when you consider these fish. These fish hibernate over the winter and they handle these cold temperatures. And um, as I said before, at Jersey, we have quite a difference. I mean, we have quite a wide range of temperatures that come across us. In the summers, we get some boiling summers where the temperature is over 90. In the winter, we get some winters where the temperature is below zero. So we definitely get a wide range of temperature. And yet these fish survive, and they're just awesome. So I'm going to try to give you guys some GoPro action so you can get a closer look at these fish. But when you consider all that these fish go through, it's just amazing. I wish I could film them a little bit better. But for now, this is what I have. <laughs> Okay everyone, so that is a look at my backyard pond with my koi and goldfish. It is amazing. So if you haven't noticed already, this video is a voiceover. Originally when I filmed this video, I was speaking while I filmed. However, my audio was terrible because my microphone was under my shirt and um, somehow the connection went wrong. So now I'm doing everything as a voiceover. So you can see that the video is a little bit off. I'm not really good at voiceovers. but. Just to get the video done, I decided to do it instead of having to redo the whole thing. By YouTube, that has been a look at my koi. So um, if you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any cold water fish, let me know your experience. If you have any videos, make sure you share those in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching. I just passed 4,000 subscribers and I greatly appreciate you all. And that will be all.